हॅलो एव्हरी वन आणि नमस्कार धिस इज डॉक्टर सुदर्शन संभाजीराव पेडगे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ झुओलॉजी कैलासाशी रसिका महाविद्यालय देवणी युअर झुओलॉजी कंपेनियन अँड वेलकम टू माय लेक्चर इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी ऑल्सो कम्प्लिटेड द वॉटर वॉटर इन द वॉटर वी हॅव सीन पी एच ऑफ वॉटर अँड क्वालिगेटिव्ह प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ वॉटर ओके सो नाव टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ आवर सिलेबस दॅट इज एन्झायम्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टुडेज लेक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्वेश्चन मे आर आईज इन युअर माइंड व्हॉट इज मीन बाय द एन्झायम्स सो एन्झायम मीन्स a complex biological catalyst of proteinaceous nature and plant or animal origin which regulates and accelerates various physiological process within the body called enzymes what is mean by the enzymes a enzymes a complex biological catalyst of proteinaceous nature and plant or animal origin which regulates and accelerates very various physiological process within the body called enzymes okay so we know very well the necessary energy for the maintenance of life is obtained through the metabolism of nutrients okay and that metabolism is occurred with the help of enzymes okay so in this term in a 1835 virgilius proposed that the first general theory of biocatalyst and called ferments okay firstly proposed virgilius in 1835 and they called enzymes the ferments but in 1878 khune first introduced the term enzyme which derived from a original greek word en means in and zyme means living so that is the in living means the enzymes are a greek word okay so as well as enzymes are obtained in a pure form okay and are of proteins okay as well as these enzymes is protein that's why they have easily denature or precipitation with the help of salt solvents and other reagents also okay as well as biologically they are made up of chains of amino acids and are of two types that is the first one is the simple enzyme and the second one is the conjugated enzymes or holo enzymes okay so first is the simple enzymes simple enzymes such as pepsin trypsin and chemotrypsin are simple proteins okay which yield by amino acid on hydrolysis okay and that such terms are called simple enzymes okay it means the simple proteins which is yielded amino acid on hydrolysis such terms is called simple enzymes okay another that is the conjugated enzymes in the conjugated enzymes many enzymes are in the conjugated proteins because they carry non protein part such enzymes called holo enzymes or conjugated enzymes okay so next is the nomenclature of enzymes okay nomenclature it means the naming of enzymes there is no any kind of general rule for naming enzymes okay and they are named by adding 
the suffix as a s e as to the name of substrate for example amylum is the adding as uh, suffix as is, is the amylase <coughs> and another ester ester adding one particular suffix as is called esterase another urea adding suffix as is the urease and uh, next is the protein protein adding as there is the proteinase enzymes okay these are the enzymes which is, it means the adding the suffix as so that name is generate okay so the enzymes which one particular splits sucrose into glucose and fructose with the help of sucrase enzyme okay enzyme sucrase is easily split into the sucrose into glucose and fructose okay similarly the enzyme hydrolyzing maltose called maltase okay and in the certain enzymes old names and do not follow any of these rules for example pepsin and trypsin okay so these trypsin and trypsin is do not follow any kind of rules of enzymes that's why these are the enzyme also but not adding any type of is pepsin and trypsin okay so next is the classification of enzymes the enzymes are one particular catalytic power that catalytic power is used for the splitting of molecule joining of molecules as well as transfer of molecular atoms from one molecule to another that is the one particular power of enzymes okay catalytic power there are three catalytic power splitting of molecule joining of molecule as well as transfer of molecular atom from one molecule to another that is the particular power found in the enzymes okay so on that basis of catalytic nature and function the international union of biochemistry has suggested or recognized six major classes okay six major classes first is the hydrolysis second is the transferase third is the oxido reductase fourth is the lysase fifth is the isomerase and sixth is the ligase okay these are the classification of enzymes okay and this is, it will be found found in the international union of biochemistry as recognized six classes of enzyme okay, hydrolase transferase oxido reductase lysase isomerase and ligase okay these are the six major class of enzymes okay in the next lecture we will see thoroughly so today we completed the introductory part of the enzyme chapter so firstly we have seen the definition of enzymes after that types of enzymes simple and conjugated enzymes as well as nomenclature of enzyme is also studied and lastly the uh, superficial information about classification of enzymes in the next lecture we will thoroughly focus on classification of enzyme so thank you very much all of you please like and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for the next videos
थैंक यू ऑल